What's interesting about Brock Purdy, he was at Iowa State. I'm not a big college football guy, but correct me if I'm wrong. Iowa State's just another school in the Big 12. <laughs> right? I mean, it's not uh, a powerhouse. Fun fun fact, like, I, my freshman year in college was actually spent at Iowa State University. So I have, oh, wow. I have a, little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of connection there. Like, but I have some friends that are there. So I did know about Purdy beforehand because my I have some good friends that graduated there. And, uh, you know, they uh, tow, have – touted purdy in fact when i remember when purdy first started one of my friends i messaged uh and he was like interception coming um it did inter- that interception did come but uh i don't think it really affected they won the game but it's my assumption is correct right it's not a a, a big 12 power no 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 State. big 12 it's a decent not, it's a decent team it is a decent team and no it's it is not a powerhouse no by, by, it's a decent I, team I so hit, as Kyle would say, by no means. Right. So, like, some weeks they have the competitive advantage in terms of talent over their uh, opponents. Some weeks they don't. And he was a, a fairly successful quarterback in college. I mean, he didn't get drafted high, but he won a lot of games and put up good numbers, was a starter for a long time. Okay, but still, it was a struggle. If you look at his, his numbers in college, they weren't great, especially his, like, T to INT ratio. Now cut to the NFL. He happens to be on the best team in the league. Every week they have a competitive advantage over their opponent. It must seem kind of. It must seem easier. Well, you're, well, before you're looking at like you know I got Brees Hall and a bunch of nobodies at wide receiver. Now I got George Kittle, Debo Samuel, uh, Brandon Ayuk, Christian McCaffrey. Like this, actually, the way I look at it, it might even be easier for him in terms of. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What do you think? Is it like? Is it like Luka Doncic? Luka Doncic, where he's like, it's easier to score in the NBA than than in. I'm just talking about the talent disparity. I felt like no, it's so, I, it was so even for him in college, and now it's like he's actually has he's on the best team. He's on he's at Alabama right now, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got he's he's got weapons galore, right? Like he's got he's got Ayuk, which I think uh, most people believe is underappreciated, right? Um, he's yeah. got George Kittle, who prior he was an all he was an all pro tight end and and now you know people forgot about him and all of a sudden now he's having this rejuvenation under Brock Purdy right yeah um, like uh he's got an all pro left tackle or all, all like world hall of fame left tackle um yeah you know pr- protecting him he's got um you know I, I think uh Jennings who's an underrated wide receiver I mean he's got you're right he has weapons galore and CMC right I mean. Yeah, um, and, and Debo hasn't even been Debo has a, has missed how much of the Brock Purdy run? Uh, maybe about seventy five percent of it. Yes, yes. Um, so that's true. But like, for example, I, I want to just compare Brock to the five quarterbacks who were drafted last year: Mac, uh, Zach Wilson, Trey Trey Lance, Justin Fields, uh, Trevor Lawrence. Like for each of those guys, you could argue that college was easier. Than the pros. I mean, those guys were on really good teams. Trey, especially. He was on the best team in his conference. Mac Jones on the best team. I mean, Trevor Lawrence. These guys, like, they had a rude awakening in the NFL because they don't have those teams around them anymore. Not that they're not talented enough to make the transition, but with Brock, kind of like I would compare it to Dak Prescott when he left, was it Mississippi State? Good good school, not not a dominant school in the SEC, and all of a sudden he goes to the to the Cowboys with Des Bryant and uh, Ezekiel Elliott. It's like, whoa, <laughs> I didn't have this in college. I think that's an underrated aspect of uh, quarterback scouting is, um, you know, the supporting cast. What do they have in college, and what are they going to in the league? Trevor Lawrence had a ton of weapons over, a ton of over weapons. Clemson. A ton um, of weapons. Joe Burrow yeah. had a ton of weapons at LSU. Yeah. 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 So, so like I, I so I see where you go I see where you're going. Like he 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 was the focal point. Like if he didn't he was the focal point at, at I It was him and Brees Hall. Like he, it was him yeah, and Brees Hall. Was, him and David Montgomery. Yeah. You know? That was it. Yeah. I, I believe they're they had a tight they had a tight end, I think he was was pretty solid. I, Maybe. I think he's I yeah. I think he's I don't know maybe like a junior. Yeah, I think he might be like but, a junior or something now or a senior. I don't know. But they, he was, not not he was to compare out. Brock to like a Hall of Famer, but this when I was growing up, this was kind of like the Aaron Rodgers story. He went to Cal. Cal was nothing special. It was a school. It wasn't a bad school. He had some good players there, but he he like beat USC throwing to guys like Burl Toler and people who weren't in, you know, who never went into the league. So that was kind of amazing in retrospect. And I guess you know, like Josh Allen, he he was winning at Wyoming 
freaking Wyoming. Like that school's terrible. Um, now there are examples of, of quarterbacks who went to powerhouses and work out in the NFL, like Jalen Hurts, and it, it, they come from all over. But I think it's worth noting quarterbacks in the future, guys who sort of elevate programs or are able to win at programs who are just middle of the road. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I bl- I think your I think your guy Colin Cowherd has a theory about a similar theory about. Oh. That. <laughs> Seeing him try to downplay Brock Purdy these last few weeks is is not disgusting. It's uh, it's hilarious and it's expected. He's trying to make the case that yeah. Jimmy's been better. Like, do you okay? So you don't watch the games because everyone who's watched the games would it says it's obvious the difference. The, you could argue the 49ers, if Jimmy played could have lost the game against the Raiders because Jimmy would have been sacked like five times. Yeah, I would agree. I would think that Jimmy would have gotten sacked a lot of times against Washington too. I mean, they might have lost to um, Miami if he if uh, Brock Purdy hadn't come in early. I'm just saying. Irfan says, "Do you see Steve Young compared Purdy to, to Mahomes?" I did. Wow, Mahomes is the best quarterback I've ever seen, even better than Steve Young. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's right. <laughs> That's a lie. I feel like every I feel like every week we're quoting Steve Young. Like it's just like I know oh, Steve Young. Steve Young said this. Steve Young said this. Like. He says a lot. <laughs> he says a lot. Zade said, "Okay, so if he if if we're comparing him to Patrick Mahomes now, is there any other comparison that could be even higher than that? If he wins the Super Bowl, who do you compare him to? God? I don't <laughs> yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. What's the next level? He's already yeah. at Patrick Mahomes right now. Okay. Well, and, and if you're comparing him to God, is that Joe Montana? I, <laughs> in, 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 I love how Steve compared him to Mahomes and not Montana. Everyone's oh, I compared him to Montana. Montana is the obvious comparison, and he's like, no, 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 no. I'm not giving Montana the satisfaction of Mahomes. That's petty. Petty. I, I haven't. I haven't watched. I love it. I, ha- I don't. Th- I haven't watched your fa- the show your show with your father this week. It's like, and shame uh, on I you. I don't think I watched him. Yeah, shame on me. Yeah, that's all right. With last week, what is how does what does your father who does your father compare him to? If Penny. Um. I threw out the Montana comparison, and he liked it. I mean, I think Garcia is the obvious comparison, but I think the reason I, I, I tend to say Montana is the the calmness, the confidence in the okay. pocket. Like uh, Garcia was very frenetic in a good way. I mean, he he was all his, his feet were always uh, patent. I mean, he was everywhere, and it was fun to watch. But this guy's much more quiet and calm, like Joe. I would have to say. But that doesn't mean he's gonna okay. be Joe. Do right, people right, watch right, football? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. He doesn't need, but he doesn't need to be Joe, right? Like, no. Joe is probably with. He's arguably right. The I think most Niners fans probably have him at number one. But if he's not number one, he's he's number definitely two. in the top five. For, yeah, for sure, right? Like, yeah. Um, if if not number two, so like, if Brock's even even remotely close to that, I mean. Yeah, you got yourself a quarterback. Zade says, "Do people yeah. watch football in Brazil, and why do you live in Brazil?" I don't live in Brazil. I'm just here a lot, uh, and and he's not a player. He uh, just crushes a lot. Yeah. Do do people watch football in Brazil? Yeah, there is actually a uh, community here in 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 F, uh, here a football community. There's like there are like leagues here. Um, there is football and American football wow. in Brazil. There's if you want to talk about world football, like. Soccer, football. There's a ton of that football here. So. I heard, you know, because they had people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Next topic. That's it for Brock. We'll see if the game continues to be a cakewalk for him, like it's been so far. 